Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Monday, March the 27th, the year is 2023. Let's talk trading. Debrief your trades. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. You know, we talk about having a trading plan a lot and following your plan. And we talk about brain management and psychology and all of those things. But I don't know if we've really talked about in debriefing your trades. So um, that's something we're going to get into, uh, at least for today. Um, once again, Walmart is on vacation this week, so uh, he won't be around. Um, debrief. What, do you, what is a debrief? Well, it's when you uh, analyze what happened after the fact. That, that's what debriefing is. You sit down and, and you look at things. And one of the questions you ask is, what did you want to accomplish? I mean, in any particular trade, of course, you want to make money. But do you have a specific amount? Do you say, I just want to pip? I just want, you know. 20 bucks, I just want 100 bucks, I want, you know, 5 pips, 10 pips, I want to ride this to the return bar, I want to ride this until I see a one ball. What was it that you wanted to do in that trade? And see, hopefully you have that already done before you enter the trade. So then when after the trade, you go, well, what happened? You know, did price go against you? You know, how bad? How long? How long were you in the trade? Did you um, get what you wanted to get out of the trade? Why or why not? You just really analyze that. Then you say, okay, here's what I wanted to have happen. Here's what happened. Well, did something go wrong? And if it did, what was the reason or reasons it went wrong? I mean, this morning, I don't know. I guess I was still half asleep or something. I went to move my cursor and I hit this. I accidentally clicked on sell. And it was just like, oh no. So now I found myself in a trade. It's like, well, I had some choices. I could have either A, exited immediately and taken up maybe a less than a pip loss. Or B, I could say, you know what? Hmm, let me ride this trade out and see what happens. Well, it worked out in my favor. I picked up a pip or two, I think. No, not two. I think I picked up a pip. So, you know, what went wrong? Well, while moving the cursor, <laughs> that wasn't even a trade, but, you know, while moving the cursor, I accidentally uh, clicked the mouse button. So maybe next time when I move the mouse, I don't have my hand on the button, just on the side, so I can't click it. And then in a trade, also, it's like, hey, what went well? Maybe, hey, you know what? I got in right where I wanted to. It, you know, the market didn't slip me. And I made the money I wanted to make, you know, because I waited for my exit. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. So that's all part of the debriefing. And you really need to do that. Oh, and if you're wondering uh, what you're looking at here with these bars and the different colors, that's the uh, new state change indicators I've been working on. Um, and one of the things that's really funny about this method, you can sit on your hands for about a minute, but that next t that next minute, you got to be right there. So, for example... Well, in this, in this case, we're on M5, so you can wait a whole five minutes because, you see, we went down, but now we're going to get a state change because either we're going to get higher, high, higher, low, or we're going to get an outside bar. So after this bar closes in a little over three minutes, then I can enter a trade. And I have to wait. <laughs> so... While waiting, I can look over different charts, and I can also do some, you know, 
quick debriefing. So once again, you know, what did you want to accomplish? What happened? Did anything go wrong? And what's the reason it went wrong? And what went right, if anything? And what were the reasons it went right? So right and wrong really don't fit in trading. You might want to say, uh, um, this, you know, why was this trade unprofitable? Or why was this trade profitable? So, you know, that's part of it. And you have to remember when you're doing this debriefing, there's only certain things you can control. You know, the entry, the exit, that's pretty much what you control and how many lots, how big of loss, and if the market smiles upon you, did you take profit? Now, the thing is, we've talked about losses. I think I brought it up again last night. And you just have to realize that part of trading, there's, there's, there's a loss. I don't think you can find any trader in their career that has, you know, zero loss, 100% efficiency. I just don't think so. And just so you know, we're in the launch pad here at the, uh, in the 40s, 2240s. So I'm going to be looking to go long. Now, and remember, part of uh, your journey of a trader is learning how to accept losing, having a losing trade. You just, you're going to have to learn how to accept it. And the thing is, if losing is causing you pain, then that's on you. It's time to adjust your attitude. You have to look at losing differently. You have to look at losing as something that, A, could you have controlled it? And if you could, what do you need to do? And B, you know, if something, if you get in a trade and immediately it runs to your stop loss, um, that, that wasn't in your control. All you can do is just take it. That was just, you know, a bad, a bad break, right? And so you just have to see how you respond, you know, how, how does your body respond? Do you get tense? Do you freeze? You know, what, what, and what's your internal chatter? What are you telling yourself? And now this is a big one. If you've ever played a team sport, chances are, you know, you had a teammate that, you know, had a bad game or had a, you know, something, they made a mistake during the game. You know, maybe they threw the ball out of bounds. Maybe they struck out. You know, maybe they fumbled. Chances are you don't beat them up. You go, come on, man, get back in the game. You can do it. You know, it's like, come on, we, we can still, we can, we still got this. You encourage them. But when you're standing in front of the mirror, what do you do? Do you show yourself that same team sportsmanship or do you say you big dummy you know you could, a lot of times when i'm talking to walmart i'll call myself a maroon if you've ever seen those old uh bugs bunny roadrunner cartoons you know it's like what a maroon when they're really saying it's what a moron um but you see that's not really me being compassionate to myself that's not me being a good teammate to myself and you can see we're coming out of that launch pad right now. Um, so that's all part of the self-talk that you have to get over. You have to improve that. You have to leave that alone. You have to figure out what is something you can say to yourself that's going to cause you to make a better choice the next time or the best choice the next time. And so if you have these, this inner dialogue that's really not working in your favor, you have to um, first recognize that and then you have to replace it. I mean, it's kind of like if it's a bad movie and you didn't like it and you really wanted your money back, you're not going to go see it a second time, are you? 
So that's the same thing in your head. Don't be, you know, playing those movies that you don't like over and over. It just doesn't help you. It really doesn't. And then a lot of times, you know, when trading, and you've heard it other places, I'm sure, you focus on the process, not the outcome. Because you really can't control the upside. You can only control the downside. So your process of trading, you really need to focus on it. And you can see right now, we have gone back into the launch pad. In fact, maybe I should shift over to this chart here. Or no, not that one. Which one? This one. No? Yeah. But let's come down to... Uh, See, so we can look at the uh, M1. So we're in the launch pad. Price is moving down. You see all this red. And so, I just, since I'm not short, I just have to sit on my hands. You know, I'm focusing on the, in this case, I'm focusing on my process, which is first I have to wait for um, these candles to uh, change the state and I talked about you see here there was a state change and it's basically the trigger was to go low right there because you had an outside bar so you want to take that breakout because remember in price action it's either going to break out of the upside the downside or both so in this case you got lower high lower low and it broke so and that was a state change from lower high, lower low to outside bar. And then so that means the trade was on. I was looking for a long, but because I wanted to come long out of the launch pad, but you can see price had other ideas. So in this case, really, I should have been short, but I'm making videos. so It's kind of hard to trade and talk and do all those things at the same time. Walmart, he's pretty good at it because I think his trading is just more um, a reflex. So once again, the um, briefing, you know, you want to figure out where you need to uh, practice, where you need to focus on, you know, on the areas that you struggled on. And then you have to uh, make sure you're in the present, not get stuck. Oh, you know what? I, you know, the last trade was a loser. This one's probably going to be a loser too. No, that kind of talk, once again, is not helpful. And so you have to look for these opportunities and, and take them. So in this case, you know, being aware, okay, I got a state change, price is coming down, take the short. And think, hey, you know what, if I lose, you know what, on that trade and it reverses, that's okay. And the thing is, once again, ask yourself, is there any way you can prepare better for your next trade or your next trading session? What can you do to be better prepared? Basically, being better prepared is being better prepared mentally. And overall, for every trade, you know, did you learn something? Did you learn something about the market? Did you learn something about the method? Did you learn something about you? So, fellow traders, hope that gives you something to uh, use and uh, next time you trade. And so when you're sitting down there and you're trading, I want you to always remember and never forget, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one over and out.